In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some adjustment layers on this photo here. Now the advantages to making adjustment layers when you're editing a photo is that it's non-destructive, meaning you will never ruin the original photo, it will always stay intact, versus if you do it um, up here in image adjustments, all these types of photo edits are permanent, so they will destroy the photo, meaning you can never go back to the original photo that you had before. So let's get started on that. So one of the questions that's on the certification test um, is this. Add an adjustment layer with hue and saturation where the saturation is 55. So let's go do that. So go to layer. Instead of going to image adjustments, go to layer and choose new adjustment layer. And then it asked for hue and saturation. So click on that, click on that and say OK. So now you'll see it added this layer on top. We can adjust the saturation there. So it said to make it plus 55. So now you can see the photo is more saturated, but it's on another layer so that if you ever needed the original photo or wanted to edit the amount of hue and saturation that you add, it's always on a separate thing, so it's non-destructive. All right, let's read the other question they asked. Give this image a non-destructive curves adjustment using the color negative RGB preset. So let's go back to our photo again, and let's do the same thing. Go to layer, whoops, layer, adjustment layer, and this time they said curves, so we'll choose that. We could say okay. And then up here, in the every time you add an adjustment layer, it gives you, you know, the window that you need to adjust the parameters in above your layers tabs. So let's go up here. It said preset. They wanted color negative RGB. Okay. So now you can see that all these adjustments are on different layers. So none of it is permanent. They're all non-destructive edits.